second collection of the night that was Lace and Metallics. Lace Metallics. Um, that was where, where it kind of started getting a little couture and a little jazzy. Um, we kind of slowed the music down a little bit. Um, you know, everyone feels good when lace is against their skin. It's kind of that, you know, our inner wear is outer wear look, that lingerie is day wear kind of thing. We played with it. Ironically, a lot of people donate lingerie <laughs> to diversity thrift. So we had a lot to go with on that. Um, but we really started to have fun with the collection uh, in, in that segment. Now, if someone's pulling something for diversity from mm -hmm. that collection, what would be something that would be a good item to find? The weirdest thing you can find. I would like to say, if you find a panty and bra set or like a you know, kind of, you know, cami style top and underwear. Take the underwear, throw them somewhere, and bring me the top, and let's turn that into something, you know, that we can put with a, you know, a basic bottom, a cute pair of shorts, and let's run with it. So, the most abstract thing you can find that's either lace or metallic is the thing I want. I want sequins, I want shiny stuff, I want 80 styles prom dresses, and we're going to funk it up and turn it into some couture stuff. <laughs> now, from that collection, what was your favorite outfit that y'all pulled together? Oh gosh, that's a hard one. Um, it would have to be some of the 80s style prom dresses probably. I had girls pull their hair to a cute pigtail and it felt like it kind of took me back to something that I wasn't even alive during. <laughs> um, but you know, from looking at pictures of my mom and her friends during their prom eras, it kind of took me back retrospect into that and that's really what it embodied. And I know a lot of people that may have lived through that era kind of got to feel that and it kind of, you know, was nostalgic for them. So that had to be my favorite part of it. So it's good to find like, you know, retro pieces oh yeah on a good budget yeah fashion definitely is is a big circle you know whether it's flare bottom pants or you know platform shoes fashion makes this huge circle and then things will go out and they'll be cliche and then you look up and maybe it's 10 years later or 20 years later but they're back the trend and then you know it's constantly that our moms and our grandmas are like well we used to wear that back in our day and, you know, that's just the way it is. So um, it's easy to do that and it's cheap to do that at a place like Diversity Thrift. Rather than going to one of your higher end name brand stores that are just replicating um, that look, you can actually get that authentic uh, look here, that authentic vintage look here and get it at a, a darn good price. So I've had a lot of experience getting out of my clothes. And, I, you know, I don't like to wear much as is, so I like to wear a lot of things that are very revealing. So our next scene that we have for you is our... No! Focus. Focus. Is our lace and metallic work. Oh, my God. 